one way you're not gonna believe this. I've just done a bunch of recording on the phone. I just came in for a coffee and uh, stopped getting eaten by the mosquitoes, although my thermos cell is working really well. But Sunny has returned. And as you'll see in the one minute videos that'll be up before this, she brought me her whole brood, six of them. You see them over there? Well, there's one, there's just her and then one of the little babies, but they're all underneath my chair and stuff right now. But uh, yeah, there's six babies. So she turns out to be a mummy, which I would have never suspected. And uh, <laughs> raccoons, eh? You never know what to expect. Anyway, I, uh, I, uh, she, uh, I petted two of them. She, that, I, she's getting very close to me, but uh, one time I was reaching and I started to slip and then she heard me. Of course, uh, one of the babies was right there and she kind of went, er. So I knew, okay, there's a limit here that what she's willing to, you know, put up with. So anyways, uh, I can't believe this. I forgot to put the cup underneath the uh, Keurig. Just caught it. I was so busy working on the on the uh, the camera, like meaning getting like you know getting it set up so I can set it down. I wasn't paying attention to the coffee. I am distracted though because I'm so happy about this little brood. So we're gonna make way easier for them. I'm gonna. I've just fed them two apples. They're still eating that and some more seeds, but uh, I'm gonna have to buy a lot of peanuts, some more sunflower seed, more apples. I'll get them some of those, more of those organic. They seem to like them anyway. And, um, hey Goldie. She's like, you're paying attention to all those raccoons. Why not us? Well, Goldie. You guys get me about 24-7. And it's a quite a thing that mommy's decided to trust her babies around me. So. But animals have always sensed I got that. I love animals. Doesn't matter what they are. Except mosquitoes. <laughs> They're not exactly my friends. Until I took my shot last night, it was Zempec. I'm nauseous today. Ugh. I get this even after all this time. The only other thing I can think of is that it's uh, maybe it's the light long-term damage from the uh, from the MRN MNRA vaccine. Uh, which you know now it turns out there's people I didn't get the boosters I only got number one and two and I regret getting that now but because of my mother um, she's refused and she won't get vaccinated uh, smarter than me but at the same time I told her I said my mom you know I said we didn't know I'd already gotten it at the time I was one of the first ones to get it in this country and I claim that all along because I know where I got it and when it happened. It was before they even had it on the news. So and then the news, you know, when the army guys came back and confirmed everything I uh, had had experienced. So anyway, but I've certainly built up a built up a resistance anyway because I got it again. And I, I survived through that. Okay, are they still down there? Hey, babies. Now I'm gonna try and do this. Maybe I'll do it this way. Goldie's not helping by running around. Okay, Goldie? <laughs> I know that this is your place. Hey, Sonny, I'm coming out, okay? No, Goldie. scaring all the babies away so I can put this on GoPro hey sonny it's okay see I'm a big imposing it's okay Shh. it's okay daddy's here he will not harm you you know that you wouldn't have bought your late your little baby babies here that I know for a fact yeah 
and I'm I'm so happy you uh, you trust me and even your babies trust me a little bit so that's even better Let's see if I can get close up here for you guys hey little guy yeah oh Sunny's coming to she just come hey this one is looking at me all the time I think it's the same one I petted him already though I don't know if I'm going to get away with it again. I'm going to have to sit down, like, right to the ground almost. Thermosel is just sitting here. This is my portable. And I'm telling you, there was a million mosquitoes here when I came out. But now there's nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let's see if I can pet you. It's okay. It's okay, Sonny. It's okay. Hey, little baby. It's okay. They're so curious about the uh, compressor uh, bag. They want in that bag, eh? I find that's one of the beautiful things of raccoons. It makes them hard to have pets because they're like 10 times more curious than cats. And, uh, hey, babies. What are you doing? Came up and snipped my uh, my my uh, toe. You're not gonna bite me, are you? You gonna bite me after I fed you? No, she wasn't gonna bite. I wasn't worried. He just wanted to sniff. Brings me back to that time that Rocky uh, licked the back of my leg. I didn't know what he was doing. I think he was just trying to be friendly, but it scared the living bejesus out of me because Rocky at that point had been a, was a full-size raccoon, so he wasn't small. But he was mentally, something was wrong with him because, uh, like I said, I found him here uh, that one winter, and he was, uh, you could see the blood on the snow, and he was here underneath the trailer, and uh, I started feeding him because I said, this, this he's going to die. Obviously, a car hit him or something. And uh, anyway... He didn't. We managed to uh, get him where he's, uh, you know, well, I had him four years. And then one day he just didn't come back. And, well, that's about right for the for his age. So I'm going to see if I can set this down a little bit here without scaring them. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, they're good. They're learning to trust me like almost right away, which is probably not a good thing, but anyway. Oh, two of them over there. Look at this. They're sleeping together. They're like, Mommy, we want to go back to the to the cave. Well, their little den somewhere. I think I know where the den is now because she left here the one day and went over there. And that's when I said about the trees. And she was hanging and I saw this small hole going into the, the trees. And it would be big enough for her and the, the kits. So I got a very good idea as to where they are. So anyway, as long as she keeps them away from that road, that's the main thing. And I, it's going to be hard. We're probably going to lose one or two of them. So look at the two sleeping over there. You see them over by the black bag there, folks? Look, 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 they run for his leap. Just like kittens, eh? Okay, Sonny, if you will let me, I'm going to sit down a little bit further. But I'm going to move away like this. Yeah. He's just Sonny. He's just Sonny. There we go. See, we're even closer now, guys. And still, no mosquitoes. Thank you, Thermosel. <laughs> you know what? I think maybe I should put one of those links so you guys get like a discount. Because I think if I make one for Lad Under the Woods, Under the Woods, Lad in the Woods, um... Hey, babies. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I just tried to pet one and he kind of looked up at me, let me pet him. Then he went, okay, I'm, I'm scared now. I'm going underneath the, uh, the, uh, the, the steps. You know, I just hope mommy doesn't come out behind me. 
I just, you know, they're wild animals, folks. So, I mean, you always, always, always have to be aware. Even when they're coming up to you like this, like the first thing, you know, is to notice, okay, is, is he or she got any foam around the mouth? Is she acting strange? He or she acting strangely? Fur patches, mitching, all kinds of things to check for rabies. Anyway, um, I know none of them have rabies, which is good. I don't even remember the last time I'd have to, I and mean, my dad's gone, but my dad will remember that any, the last time we ever got anything that was rabbit on this property. But no matter what, they're still wild animals, so. And I know the babies, you guys will, will end up filming it, but I guarantee you some of these babies are going to wind up sitting on me and I'm going to be petting them, so. But they're still wild animals and I still need them to be that way because if I died tomorrow and they got reliant on me, you know, that's not good for them. Now I'm absolutely certain that mummy has probably started to show them the, the other feed spots around here, which is the swamp. They got two swamps they can go to close without going near the road. And there's lots of good food in there like, uh, you know, snails, mollusks, all that kind of stuff. Probably crayfish and other insects and everything. Good food for them. Well, I wasn't planning on recording today, folks. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Oh, you tired, eh? He was looking up at me and he's like, I just want to lay down. I'm tired now. Mommy's making us wait. Well, you know what? Mummy eats more, it's more milk for all you guys if you're still suckling, so I'm pretty sure you are. We're out of apples, eh, babies? Well, not, I can go get some more in the house if you want. Hey, eh? What do you think? Think I should get some more apples? There's a lot of seeds there, though, guys. I need for you to finish those up. Oh, from this little rest. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Just keeps looking up at me. Like I said, animals choose you, not, not the other way around. Hey, babies, you just can't figure it out, can you? No, you just like, I want to see going on here. Oh, now he went and hid over there because I moved it. But he was like, he kept going, like, I want to I wanna come near you. I'm not sure what to do here. Now they're all, look at this, they're all rolling. How many have we got here? Two. Two, four, six, all six. Hey, bud. He's back again. Hey, bud. How's it going? Yeah, you sweetheart. Yes, you are. I'm trying to do my kitten talk with him. Hey. You're such a good raccoon. I knew, I knew right from the start. Hey, Sonny, I knew right, that's why I named you Sonny. I thought, well, if you're going to be Sonny like a girl, well, then it'd be S-U-N-N-Y. Or you can be like Sonny, like Sonny, Li well, not like Sonny Liston, but the same spelling. And I had I had uh, two friends named Sonny over the years. One that was particularly close to me. Haven't seen each other now for two or three years. I was very close to his brother who uh, was kind of like a father figure out like when I was living in the city. I mean, my real father was out here, but he he guided me through the, the vagaries of being in a motorcycle club and all the rest of it. And uh, I owe him some of the best times in my life, pretty much, too. And uh, fuck, he was there for me when I was uh, after the motorcycle accident. He came out to where I was. And uh, that was quite a distance for him to come. And he came out and wheeled me around in a wheelchair. And he found some Percocets. And he says, take those. He says, uh, the pain will go away. And I said, yeah, they gave me some already. And he saw, I showed him. He says, oh, these ones are even better. Like the same as Percocet. Now, we're going back like 30 years, okay, people? So different time. Anyways, I don't get addicted to things. I really don't like taking uh, pills. So anyhow, uh, yeah, I mean... Fuck, we ended up partying all night, and I remember his brother, Sonny, the one I'm talking about, S-O-N-N-Y. I had put on the stereo, and I put on Freebird by Leonard Skinner. Well, he's sitting there drinking his beer underneath the big tent we had set up, and uh, 
Next thing you know, the leg is going up and down in, in time with Freebird. You know, Freebird starts off slow and then it starts going faster and faster. But the look of bliss on my brother's face, oh my God. I'll never forget it. Never forget it. He probably don't remember it, but just certain things over the years. I just remember putting on that song and it made him so happy and I was like right on, man. Like, And this guy was like a hero to me when I was like 15 years old. Not, not his brother that was like a father this other one was kind of like the rebel of rebels and uh he knows about that i told him because he did remember me as a kid they would shoo me away back in the day but um yeah he uh he was very good to me not that he still isn't i do run across him on the occasion but look at them they're all trying to sleep now i think they want to go home sonny yeah I'm so glad to be here with you.